Hello and welcome to Adventure. My name is Jordan and I will be starting off this presentation. Uh, this is a project that uh, we were made and in, put into groups to create. And as you can see, there's these really big stone walls and these angel statues. When I was building this in block mesh, uh, you started off in like this foresty mountain pass area, which is what you see now. It's more forest than mountain pass. I really wish I had more time to make a mountain pass, but I didn't really know how to do that well. And so I would just went with a standard forest. Uh, I have a little cutscene in the beginning to show you key points. And I have a axe and a key, which are two key items you need. The axe is used for this right here to break down the wood log, stopping you on the bridge. And this cutscene now is showing you the next key important items. For these cutscenes, I really wanted to hammer down home that you need these items. That's why they're glowing yellow. That's why there's cutscenes going towards them. And, you know, just when I was building this bridge, it took me like an hour to do because I wanted to make it right. I wanted to give verticality. I wanted to have it be like special. I wanted it to look cool. Uh, this cutscene, I needed to make a, I think it was called a valve that will stop the players from going back. And so that's why I have those rocks falling down, siding into place. This area, uh, I wanted to make a village. I want like a cult village feeling. And I went with these really cool cathedral walls, not the cathedral walls, the cathedral shack that one of my uh, teammates had made. And I put them in level. And since it's an abandoned, lifeless village, I wanted to really make that known with the shacks going into the sand. Uh, for this area up here, it is a transition into my level end. I really wanted to make a grand entrance, but with a broken top that had rocks falling into it. And I also wanted the door to open up and swing, but close behind you in a dramatic fashion. And now, once we push the statue back, we are now in my level end. This level end, as you can see, it is called Cult Catacombs. I really wanted to hammer home the kind of creepy catacombs feel. So I went with less lights and more candles and a lot of the same cathedral, cultish, churchy looking walls. And I uh, changed out that mesh. That was supposed to be a chest. But I changed it out for a slab you push into the wall to really drive home that feel. And this area, I wanted to make a kind of undercroft area. It was, it's not the best. I could have done better. But I feel like the set dressing that I did with the statues all around, the broken barrels in the ground, I feel like I did a decent job. With the pickaxe, you'll break down this door, jump up these stairs, and get into this long hallway with a lot of coffins. This area is the same thing. I wanted to really hammer home that that really cultish feeling but over here now you put the slab in and it raises the door up and then you turn around you see more statues and then you push this slab in which opens the door and then now you're in the final zone and this final zone it was supposed to have a cutscene, but i removed it because it really wasn't that important but now we are heading into the transition between uh, my level and my teammate Corbin's level. So whenever this is finished, I really wanted to make kind of like if uh, if anyone ever seen the movie As Above, So Below, I wanted to make that, those types of walls. That's why I use the stone pavement walls. But now we are in Corbin's level. Alrighty, hello, my name is Corbin Acord, and this is my level start. So the level starts off uh, with a river, side path, walkway, and then a gazebo. Uh, we could see this broken bridge here. I went with a very uh, weathered and kind of broken down old theme with the most of my level. I also wanted to, the river to seem like it continued onto that big lake down there. So they're going to traverse the broken bridge. Now moving on to the church forest, which I'm really proud of. Uh, this stone path is um, made with individual stones. I placed them all individually. That was a fun and tedious process. There's a little pond down there just to add scenery so the forest feels less empty. Um, so moving on to the church. The church is made up of a bunch of different assets. I built the entire thing um, with custom assets. Um, now I wanted to break down that fence there to kind of give the player a sense of direction on where this key would be to lead them in the right direction. So they see that the fence is broken, it points this way. And um, the church took about two hours. I think it was one of the longer parts of the project, but I'm really happy with it, and I think it really fits the theme really well. Um, so we have the altar here, you know, broken down window to lead into my level end, which are the church ruins or the church graveyard. Uh, this part of the level, I really wanted to feel like it was uh, really dirty, broken down, which, you, you know, you're seeing these graves, the rocky terrain, uh, withered away statues, which um, 
really happy with the turnout of this one. This uh, part of the level has them find three keys scattered throughout. And so when they find the third, they walk up to the wall. And now is the transition between me and Jaden's level. On to Jaden. Hello, my name is Jaden Richards, and I was responsible for the last level in our adventure project. Overall theme for the adventure project, my level in the project was uh, Arctic Wasteland. When you first get here, you start at the top of a little mountainscape, and you go down, you see a bunch of buildings. Clearly, no, no one is inside them anymore. And then you'll eventually get to a frozen lake. I really like the lake because of how much uh, I was able to sew the background without having the player actually have to travel to it. I was also able to sew exactly where you needed to go from the moment you get down to the lake, which is that tower. One of the parts I'm most proud of in this uh, level is the beginning because at the block original block mess it was so easy to jump off but I managed to find a way with all the rocky walls and terrain to block it off and really make it look more compact than it was before. And now approaching my level end you'll reach this little village with a gate and a graveyard to the right. Of course I had some hidden some keys inside the uh, village over here because once you get inside and you try to go through the gate you'll notice that it's locked and you'll need three keys I also put one of the keys towards the graveyard just so that the player can come over here and see what's happening One of the hardest parts on this level for me was to fill up the open landscape with something to do. That's why uh, I tried to focus more on the focal points of my level, which is the village, the tower, and the uh, beginning. I think I did uh, level start the best when it comes to holding them in. Alright, and then you exit to a cavern and... Welcome to the Lodge.